Hey guys, this is Eric Rodriguez from Adobe at Arizona. And today we're gonna to be going over how to create a paper cutout transition within After Effects. So we're gonna jump into a new After Effects project and we're gonna go ahead and bring up our files. So we have our video. We also have a set of paper textures in a Photoshop document that we created beforehand. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these in as well. And now since we're bringing in a Photoshop document, we're going to go ahead and change this to composition, not footage, and hit OK. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and drag our video onto the timeline, as well as these four paper textures that we have pre-baked. We're gonna move our video underneath those textures, just so we can go ahead and look at them. Now what we're gonna do now is go ahead and hide some of these, just leave one on here, and we're gonna resize this. We're gonna make it cover up a good portion of the screen here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our video and paste that as many times as there are paper layers. So in this case, we're gonna paste it three times to give us four videos total. And now from here, we're going to select our paper texture layer and we're gonna hit G to bring up the pen tool and then we're gonna go ahead and start masking around this edge here. So we're gonna zoom in. Use H to bring up the hand tool so we can pan around. And now using the pen tool, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and mask right around this edge here. So now that we've made our mask, we're gonna go ahead and copy it. So just take Command C, and we're going to paste this onto our bottom video. And so once this is pasted in, we're gonna hit Command T on that mask to bring up the transform tools. We're gonna go ahead and stretch this out to the edges, try to make it line up with the mask that we created for the paper cutout. And now we're gonna go ahead and repeat that process for the rest of the layers and video. So now that we've made our masks, we're gonna go ahead and place our video above our textures and we're going to shorten the length of both our video and our textures down to around one second each. We're gonna have these correlate with each other. And as soon as one ends, we're gonna have the second one starting. And so once we have our video looking something like this, we're gonna go ahead and start keyframing these just to make this look a bit smoother. So for each of these videos, we're gonna open up the options for mask expansion. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our end keyframe at the point where that video ends. Have that there. And from the beginning, we're gonna go ahead and make this pretty small. So we're gonna go ahead and size this down to somewhere about there. 
Now we're gonna open up our options for our paper texture. Open up the options for masks. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same for this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for each of our videos. set up we're gonna go ahead and expand our time just a bit and now once we play this back it should look something like this thank you guys for watching our tutorial for more tutorials and content be sure to head over to adobe.arizona.edu